Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, and this time on a major roundabout, I have his Corgi Toys Jaguar XJ12C. As you watch it go around, we'll just like to say hello to my friends of the channel. Welcome back. Any recently joined friends, welcome aboard. Uh, much appreciated you joining. I hope you enjoy these videos and uh, leave comments underneath. Um, so, oh, excuse me. Yeah, so, this is what I'm going to do next. Um, and you see, it's slightly play warm. Got broken glass in it, um, broken bumpers. So, um, yeah, we're going to do this one. Uh, I've got one one car in mind for it, but you'll see it at the end. So without further ado, let's get off of magic and on the bench and have a look at it. Right, here we are then. So, Corgi, Toy, Corgi Toys, Jacob XJ12C. There you go. Yeah, done plenty of these before. You know the score by now. Right, leave it to one at each end and pull those out. And hold it tight so you get it bang on in the middle. Yeah, a bit fiddly. later on, open the doors, get the dash out, glass, mm, might say that, I don't know yet, there's your dash, simple as that, but it comes off, so you can get the grill off, uh, right, the engine, as you can see, you've got these little tangs here, here and here, so you've got to push those in to get the engine out, like that, it's nice and simple. Uh, right, a blue lot on the roof, they might, they might just push out, sometimes they do, if they've been there long enough. Uh, that's going to need a drill. A little bit of slight tension there. Mm 
Okie dokie. That's it. Screw that off. Right, there's your... Uh, yeah, your casting fully stripped. The base plate, um, excuse me, the base plate, I'm not going to faff about. I don't know, hang on. You've got little clamps here that hold the axles in. What I've done before is on the later models, you just squeeze them together to keep the axle in place. But I don't know if you can open these ones. I've never tried it to be honest. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot, I'll show you in a minute. I don't think you get these open somehow. But we're not bending the axles. No, I'm not going to fill up out of it. When it comes to later, I'll just paint over the the front bit and the back bit. So that's that. Wait, one thing I did forget. Yeah, the front lights here. They should just push out. I normally do on these. From the inside. <clears throat> that's, that's one out. Oops. There you go. Right, and the other one. That's it. That's it. Where's that going? Yeah, it's always worth saving these parts because you've got other die cast restorers who may do these and haven't got uh, parts that you do need. So, yeah, always handy to keep them. You never know. Right, I'm gonna get the oh Let's see if we can get that get that grill off as well. Yeah, it is a bit awkward actually. Force it off. No, I thought I was going to leave it on there. I think I've got plenty of spares of these anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get these in the uh, caustic soda bath now. So, um, so next time I see these, we be all polished up. All right, right. Well, I'm just cutting away the interior now, or cutting out bits I don't need, which is like usual, like the Back bit of the passenger seat. I've got the cast in the cosmetic solar bar. I can do all this in the meantime. some cutters so
Wait, that's it. <clears throat> okay, so you've got just a driver's seat left now and a bit of the front there just to support it. Okay, so don't need that. Um, basically, just for usual, I'm just going to cut away the front corners here. A little bit, a bit fiddly, so I'll just do this off camera. See me just before anyway. Uh, and hopefully, I should get the casting back. Okay. Right, okay, so I'm at, at the um, painting stage now. Um, I've got it all, all prepped. I'll just zoom in. Uh, got my door plates on. You can see the. Uh, a shot there, eh? bonnet, bonnet plates are on, thin, thin plates on the roof, um, I'll go up inside, it's not going to be a very good shot this way, yeah, you see the H frames on there as well, that's all done and painted. I'm going to start getting this painted, I'm going to do a sort of lime green on, on the sides here and purple on the back, the roof and the front and then do the base, then the, on the base plate I do like the, uh, the edges and the back the lime green as well so yeah, I'll show you that afterwards Okay. Ah, right, so uh, right, let's get this tag rebuilt. Uh, it all dried off. Right. Oops. Steer it in place. Okay, in the driver's seat. All right. Put the base plate back on. It's going to be fiddly. It's in, just a bit.
Right, that's all back together. All right, what I'm gonna do now is just tidy, tidy up the page a little bit here and there. Uh, and then do the sign of writing on it. So next time you see this, we back on your magic roundabout. All right, see you there. All right, here we are then, back on your magic roundabout. It's a uh, Corgi Jacob XJ12C, uh, done in the colours of a battle wagon, uh, better known as uh, Bob Alderman, who was a banger racer back in the 70s and 80s. Uh, yeah, this is his colours. So this is my take on his colours. Um, on his actual cars, he used to have a um, look at a model horse on his roof. Um, I don't know why, but unfortunately I haven't got one of those. So, as I say, this is my take on his car and colours. Yeah, so there you go. That's it, basically. Yeah. Anyway, so I do hope you like this one. Um, yeah, please feel free to comment underneath. I will reply to them as usual. So, until the next video, enjoy yourselves what you're doing, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.